Today in part three, we will be heading from my hometown in Southwest New Mexico to where I finally earned my associate's degree in Eastern Arizona. And it only took me about four years. As I mentioned in the last video, I went to several different colleges and universities prior to moving here because I was following the construction and taking classes wherever and whenever I could. While I was building those houses I showed in the last video, I started commuting here to take classes, about a two hour commute each way. The commute also served as my excuse for getting a new toy. This thing. I said it was for the commute and for fuel costs, but let's be honest, it was just a fun little car to drive. I usually kept my truck in New Mexico where I needed it for work. It was an awesome truck, by the way. I miss that Cummins. And I used the little Mitsubishi for my commute. Sometimes I take the truck with the trailer though, so my friends and I could ride four wheelers or ATVs or quads or whatever you want to call them. One time on one of my commutes, we got a few inches of snow here that was like snow apocalypse. Right about here in Duncan, Arizona, they shut down the road because people lose their minds here when it snows. And they had us wait for several hours in a barn while they cleared the road. At the time, I was driving my Dodge Ram with 4x4, grippy all-terrain tires. My license plate and driver's license were both still from Montana, where they don't even bother to plow roads. But the police officer wouldn't let me continue until several hours later. When they finally did reopen the roads, there wasn't a speck of snow left. I swear they must have used a really big hair dryer or a street sweeper or something. Anyway, fortunately, classes got canceled, so I didn't miss out on too much. But when I did get there, my friends and I made up for lost time. Here's some proof. <laughs> Okay, this is Joe Nico. He's gonna go for the gold. <laughs> He's still going. Look at Joe go. He's going way down there. He's still swimming like a fish. There goes Justin. <laughs> Anyway, so our destination today is Thatcher, Arizona, a small town in the Gila River Valley near the base of Mount Graham. It's got a population of about 5,000, and it's just a great place to live, I think. Honestly, I think it's one of the best and safest places to live in Arizona. We are going to stop at a couple places on the way and get some comfort food for my college days. Our first stop is a Mexican restaurant called Los Gilbertos in Safford, Arizona, which borders Thatcher. It can be hard to tell where Safford ends and Thatcher begins. All right, so now it's the moment of truth. We're back from Los Gilbertos. I ordered a carne asada quesadilla, lengua taco, and an horchata. So we're going to see if these are as good as I remember them. Oh boy, this is going to be messy. Let's see. <laughs> so good. As good or better than I remember them. Try this horchata. Mmm. And that's the way our chata is supposed to taste. I had some in Florida that was terrible. It tasted like powder, but this is delicious. Oh, this is gonna be messy, I already know. Good thing they gave me extra tortillas. Hmm, that one's interesting. It doesn't really taste like lengua, it's a little bit tough. If you don't know what lengua is, lengua is cow tongue, and it's usually very soft, very tender. Still good though, but the quesadilla rocks. All right, so let's get back to my story. I've digressed a tad, got distracted by food. All of this commuting lasted about a semester, maybe two. It was here that I finally decided to quit construction and get serious about my education. I got a job as a manager at this AutoZone to keep the bills paid. It didn't pay as much as I was making before and I refused to take out student loans, so I had to make some sacrifices. I put both of my cars up for sale, figuring I'd keep whichever one didn't sell first, but they ended up selling on the same day. So, carless, I bought this car on eBay in Pennsylvania. I know, young and dumb. That was a rough weekend flying there and driving it back here due to an improperly installed lift kit. It had a ton of problems, but it looked cool. I got most of the issues fixed, kept it for a few months, and then traded it in for something more reliable, but a lot less fun. Around this time, my dad, like a lot of people, went bankrupt due to the housing market crash in 2008. 
And so I, being the good son that I was, used my car as collateral for a loan to help him stay afloat. But I was still not making much money and still had my education to pay for. So shortly afterward, I had to sell that car to pay off the loan and use what little equity I had left to get this little girl. I wish I could tell you that the flame decal came with it, but sadly, that would be a lie. Just one example of my poor life choices. Anyway, back to Thatcher. There are some really beautiful sites around here and plenty to do. There are natural hot springs, rock water slides, ice caves, lakes, Roper Lake State Park, Fry Mesa Reservoir, and Observatory if you're into astronomy, just off the top of my head. Thatcher is also the home of Eastern Arizona College, which is just to the right of me now. Eastern Arizona College is the home of the Gila Monsters and Gila Hank. I studied business administration here, and one of my electives was men's choir. Down here at the back end of campus is the auditorium where we performed a couple times a semester. Here's a quick sampling of our performances. We 
times here and did a lot of fun things both in and out of school. For example, my cousins and I were in a ballroom class together and even participated in a few cultural performances like the one here. We did some rappelling. Not my favorite because I'm terrified of heights, but I did it. The school had a lot of social events like dances for us. For this one, my date and I dressed as, well, I don't know, gangsters, I guess. For a Halloween dance, my friends and I went as a boy band. We even had a dance routine rehearsed for us. My bleached hair was convenient timing for that as well. Never do that again. Another Halloween dance, I procrastinated and had to throw together a last minute costume as SpongeBob SquarePants. Get it? Get it? She got it. Outside of school activities, we often went up to Fry Mesa, which unfortunately I won't have time to visit today, but I can reminisce through photos at least. Here's some of us on the catwalk below the reservoir. At the other end of the lake, after a short hike, you come across these nifty little waterfalls. But where am I in all of this? Here I am! Don't ask me what I was doing up there, I really have no idea. Back to exploring Thatcher. We are going to run by where we live for about a year and a half, otherwise known as the Ranch House. Our little ranch house had a reputation as a little bit of a party house, and we did have a lot of fun parties here. But they were all clean. Never any alcohol, drugs, smoking, or whatever, for reals. We were good kids. No, really, I mean it. We were. We used to throw bonfires in the backyard, game nights, have dances. I used to DJ parties here and other places around town, believe it or not. Here's me DJing a Halloween party. We had a wall that all our visitors would sign, so you could see we had a lot of people over. And some of the girls even wrote us a nice little poem. Anyway, unfortunately, it looks like the house is gone now. That stinks. Let's keep heading this way for a minute. Just down the road from our ranch house is this riverbed that we used to play in a lot. We got many a truck stuck in there, but never mine, and even a backhoe trying to get someone else's truck unstuck. It looks dry right now. It's not the rainy season here yet. We used to take four-wheelers down here all the time. And down the road a little farther are the hills we sledded down earlier in this video. Looks like they fenced it all off and built up the berm. I guess they don't want anybody up there anymore. Well, now let's see if we can find my old apartment that I lived in after moving out of the ranch house. Right over here on the left-hand side, my school put on an event here that was basically like mud wrestling or mud football. It was a lot of fun, but oh boy, it was messy and I had to ride back home in the back of my cousin's truck. Weren't allowed inside. I think I found it. Yep. I think we lived in the third one down on the left, if I recall correctly. We were on the second floor. I have a lot of good memories here as well. As fun as the ranch house was, it was a tad isolated. This place was a little more convenient for hanging out with friends and staying plugged into the social pipeline. Most of them lived in one of these apartments or the ones down the road next to the school. And at this point, I no longer had my truck or four-wheeler, so for fun, we used to visit the girls in the apartment at the end of the road because they had a Nintendo Wii and had Rock Band and Guitar Hero. And we all got together often to watch The Office. Well, all this exploring has made me hungry, so let's head back into town for some more comfort food. Another favorite restaurant of mine was r, &R Pizza Express here. They have a lunch buffet that we used to frequent, well, frequently. It's not lunchtime now, so I'll have to get the regular menu, but that's okay. The hot wings and cinnamon twists here were my favorite. I used to fill up just on those. I'll spare you watching me eat again, but suffice it to say the food was as good as expected. Well, I think that concludes our very short trip to Thatcher, Arizona. Stay tuned for the next video where we will be heading further west to California.